I have now found one train taking the St. Luke's Hospital in serious condition. Sitting on the end of the platform near the train tunnel at the 145th Street Station. No word on why he was there or the man's identity. Once again, he lost a leg. Beginning tomorrow, getting a new Metro card will cost you a dollar. The MTA claims it will put a stop to people tossing so many of the little plastic cards when they run out of swipes. Others call it an MTA cash grab designed to further strap, uh, sap strap hangers' bank accounts of up to $20 million a year in an era of ever-rising fares. A Connecticut high school basketball coach who resigned over his acting role in a film some described as vulgar and sexually explicit has been reinstated. Mike Bisdo was forced out of his job over a movie he made a decade ago. I was an actor in my 20s in New York City, you know, hired to play a character in a comedy that was maybe on the raunchier side, but not illegal. It wasn't porn. There was no nudity. It made his bosses at the Weston School District question whether he was a good role model for the kids. But the students and parents who had no doubt that he was were even more outraged that he was gone and demanded that he be reinstated. Bisdo says they were like family. You know, family members have his back. They support you. They pick you up when you're down. And that's what this community did. He'll be back coaching the Weston High School boys basketball team Monday night for their first state playoff game. Sonia Rincon, 10-10 Winds News. Winds News Time 750, a revised environmental impact statement for the 1,700-mile-long Keystone Pipeline. Has been issued by the State Department. The New York Times says the statement makes no recommendation about whether the pipeline should be built. Supporters say it will provide thousands of jobs. Opponents say it's an environmental disaster waiting to happen. There's concern history is repeating itself when it comes to the lack of discussion about air quality issues following the superstorm in New York. The effects of mold from Hurricane Sandy are being compared to the way air quality concerns were downplayed in the days after the 9-11 attacks. Mold mentioned during a mayoral debate in January. In the past two months, public and private groups have lobbied the federal government to fight that mold, but official health department reports in New York and New Jersey tell the New York Times that there's been no increase in respiratory illnesses reported. Winds News Time 751, traffic and transit on the one. Sponsored by your Tri-State Ford dealers, here's Bernie Wagon Blast. Continuing problems on routes 1 and 9 in Newark on the northbound side. All lanes remain subject to closure as you come up to the base of the Pulaski Skyway. That's because of a tractor-trailer car accident. Also, we've got some emergency maintenance work taking place on the Garden State Parkway southbound between exits 129 and 127 in Woodbridge. The right lane is shut there until noon on Monday. If you're traveling on Route 21, that shuts southbound at Main Street in Newark until 7 p.m. on Sunday on the northbound side. They've got two lanes closed at that spot. On the 1010 Winds Jam Cam, we're looking good right now on the Grand Central Parkway. Each direction passing by LaGuardia Airport. No extra problems for you on the east side on the FDR Drive, Harlem River Drive combination. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. The Brooklyn Battery Tunnel with one lane closed in both directions until 1 this afternoon. All that side of the street parking rules are in effect. If you're stuck in a jam, let us know. Call the 1010 Winds Geico Traffic Team tip line at 877-466-1010. I'm Bernie Wagenblast. Our next report at 801 on 1010 Winds.